Hello everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm here once again. Shout out sa mga subscribers ko. God bless everyone and thank you so much. God will reward every one of you. Amen. Okay. And I thank you so much for those who want to subscribe to my channel too. And continue to be patient with me. And um, I want to share with you again the words of encouragement. And um, we need to learn more and more and about life, about relationship, about relationship to others, relationship to God. We start learning and learning, okay? We keep learning and learning and learning. Our experiences will taught us, teaches us, amen? And continue to focus our eyes to God. Continue to acknowledge Him. Now, I'm gonna share with you about a relationship. Jealousy. I know that jealousy is the most problem of a relationship. Husband and wife, or um, girlfriend and boyfriend, you know. And even not, it's not only um, in a husband and wife relationship not only in a uh, girlfriend or boyfriend's relationship but this also happenings in the relationship to others even in inside the family all right especially when the, there is a favoritism arises in the family and then jealousy comes up yes or no yes that's why stop being favoritism okay start to love equally start to treat people equally okay start to to um, share your love to everyone not the one only those who loves you jesus christ he died for everyone evil and the good so we have to share our love to everyone not to be choose like you choose someone else to share you choose this favoritism okay or racist God he made us he created us through his love we born only from one God so we need to recognize and acknowledge God's blessings to everyone okay so now the poisonous effect of a jealousy on your relationship I want to share this to you to everyone the poisonous effect of jealousy on your relationship all right most of us have left it at one time or another okay it could be a mild annoyance or like a fire inside consuming you and making you feel like you might explode although it is a common emotional reaction when a person is feeling threatened jealousy is one of biggest relationship destroyers out there Jealousy can range from feeling bothered that 
that your husband or your wife is admiring another woman or another guy or that your wife or your husband is looking at another man or looking at another woman to imagining things that are not actually there either way jealousy will have a negative effect on your relationship that's why i i had mentioned did you watch the video yesterday i did mention that our mind settings our mind settings should be lined up in the word of god yes i accept i have on also our weaknesses that some there is a jealousy but i cling on to god i ask god to control my emotion okay so our mind will be clean in the word of god when the jealousy comes into our mind like thinking overthinking when we saw our partner was uh, talking or close to our friends or his or her friends you know jealousy arises into our mind but how if we can open our heart to one another you know we learn how to open up our feelings to our partner don't hide your feelings you have to open up oh i get jealous when you're talking for to your friends or to your uh yes and then otherwise your partner he knows or he she know how do you feel don't hide it if you hide your your jealousy and then you will not be happy together you will not be happy to him you will not be happy to her because you are now creating things that destroy your your mind your trust into the relationship so it's better to be open and review than a hiding love amen do not hide that anything that makes you makes your relationship um spoiled okay or unhappy or unhealthy relationship all right thank you and now we're going through jealousy okay what is a jealousy sorry what is a jealousy a jealousy although feelings jealousy is something most can relate to the feeling is often confused with at bay in bay and jealousy are quite different however and b is a reaction to lacking something and wanting what someone else has yes you might be envious of someone's good looks or their beautiful outside beautiful physically yeah. beautiful in the uh, and their uh, faces you know their beautiful and their etc etc something else like you want to to take something that is not belongs to you so that's why there is creating it's creating a jealous from the heart in the mind of a person so jealousy on the other hand is the feeling that someone might try to take what is yours oh For example, your husband becomes close friends with attractive 
co-worker and you may be feel jealous of and threatened by their relationship at its most mild jealousy is considered an in instinctual reaction that makes us want to protect what we feel is our unlikely simply being protective though okay jealous feelings can balloon quickly into destructive behavior and cause us to act in ways that are selfish and controlling it can even cause us to assume things are happening that are not yeah like seeing a friendly <clears throat> sorry exchange as the sign of an affair or working late as hiding a secret addiction addiction instinctual or not jealousy is not productive people who struggle with controlling wow jealous feelings are often struggling with deeper issues as well as controlled jealous behavior is typically a symptom of one or more of the following here this is very unhealthy relationship right when a jealousy it becomes powerful working in the relationship you cannot experience you cannot enjoy the life of being your partner okay you cannot re enjoy the healthy relationship it was it was dumb and securities this one number one is insecurity the cause of a jealous like how I the jealous jealousy is insecurity fear now insecurity insecure your partner when being you have you are in the other hand you are talking to someone else you are close to another one, to other people, to other friends. Then insecurities comes up, arise to fill your heart in your mind. And then you begin to, you know, arguments. You begin your relationship as It's going to be sad okay fear fear that's cause of the jealousy that you are I am your fear or you'll be afraid to lose the to lose someone you love you're afraid that your love your loved one or your partner or your husband your girlfriend or your girl, your boyfriend going or taking to someone else that's why fear that is jealousy jealousy arise fear wow I can I can't even imagine how, how the feelings of this poisonous relationship of jealousy and then low self-esteem low self-esteem like you don't understand your feelings yourself you cannot think like you don't you, you don't you don't have the time to spread out your your wings to fly you don't have time to spread your mind to think something else that oh okay this is, is my friend like to ignore that things you can't even do that because you're focusing the some the things that you know 
the things that it makes you jealous okay understanding the root of the behavior can help you work toward controlling it any of those three of combination of them will not only allow feeling jealous to manifest in destructive behavior but will always create other problems in a person's life yes your partner is doing he is good or she is good but you just the things that you saw something that like that one your he is close to your friends or to others but there's no other intentions but you are creating the problem you're creating a problem towards him you do the problem is in your jealousy the insecurity that in your heart in your mind now we can go through we can God will uh, help us to solve this problem okay what jealousy does to your relationship jealous behavior can be extremely harmful to our relationship yes extremely harmful to our relationship and committing suicide to physically abuse physically uh, you know and hitting to one another arguments never stop yeah at best the jealous partner is needy and constantly looking for reassurance that they are the only one and that no one is a treat to replace them at its worst jealousy can manifest in controlling and distrustful behavior and even physical or emotional abuse amen in this harmful relationship when you start abusing emotional or physically trust will be no more you lost the trust to one another no one no more no more no more love no more trust no more respect because you are allowing the evil thoughts to destroy your mind because of the view or the pattern you saw a negative thing ne negative action from your partner that's why I told you in the first the first step you have to be open minded and open heart to your partner whatever you feel you can open it you can open up you can tell you can say it Shh, say it out your voice do not keep in your heart because you always keep in your heart you will not be happy to your partner and each of you you cannot enjoy the right and the healthy relationship okay open up before my life like very quiet even in our family when um I, I i i don't have i don't want something but i don't i don't like something i keep in my heart i just crying crying at the corner then my parents asked me why are you crying no nothing i just i say nothing but i keep in my heart you know that is not good now we have to know how to let go our uh you know our emotions our anger inside our heart in our mind to freely that we can have peace of mind with our partner you have to open mind 
It's like you're real. You make it real. Make it real. If you love to one another, you have to accept the weaknesses to one another. You have to accept acceptance. You have to accept the weaknesses of your partner. And he can or she can. She would do to she would do to also together. Okay? Acceptance to one another. You have a weaknesses and he got a weaknesses too. So you have to accept to one another and you have to sit down and to talk to to um, to solve to how you make it your relationship a healthy and right relationship okay so oh I'm gonna I, I want I feel sick insecure or I feel jealous you can say that and then ah okay maybe next time I, I maybe next time when my friend uh, a woman friend or call me I'm I would rather to introduce you and then we'll be together okay it's like this we'll be all together when we put everything on God what is the uh, conflict in our relationship God will help us to put on the right line all right God always bring us back in the right line and the right place when we trust him when we put on him in the center of our relationship do not used to one another you love that's being used no God will see you through if you only love someone that's being used you know we'll see up at the end God will show up at the end it will be broken your relationship will end up into brokenness okay if uh, a man build up and their own one day will be falling down will be broken but when we build a things with God God is the foundation and continue to acknowledge God in everything God will guide us and God will make that relationship more stronger and stronger and more better and better amen so don't love someone just being used only okay don't love someone because of things don't love someone because of just only your 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 own happiness no you need to love someone if you want to love someone if you want to marry someone make sure that the one is you love him or you love her for the rest of your life and you have to take care of him or her for the rest, the rest of your life love respect and trust if you don't have the, the, the respect I know relationship will breaking down okay that's why we could not learn when until you can you, you cannot have a re experience the brokenness in your life all right you break you're broken and God when you learn from your mistake God will bring you in the right place God will mend everything that has broken okay so I'm so blessed with those um, uh, marriage people that they are in God's uh, line okay in God's word they are living and they are continue to support to one another you have to support to one another like the the way you have to support to one another 
like this. Support to one another. If only one, right, is working it, and then this one, the left one, that nothing to do with it, this is not balance. Okay? That's not a healthy relationship. Okay. A jealous partner may try to control the actions of their partner. Yeah, that's the the fruits of the jealousy. Control. You want to control everything. Your the action of your partner. Checking up on their whereabouts or monitoring their calls, texts, or emails. This behavior sets up a pattern of distrust that is unhealthy and will eventually cause a relationship to collapse. Yeah, that's it. That's what I tell you. The foundation of any healthy and happy relationship is trust and respect. A person struggling with jealousy is unable to trust the person they are with or show respect for them as an individual or their boundaries. Amen. Over time, this behavior will destroy the feelings of love, affection that once existed. It will also likely cause repeated arguing and a need for one part partner to prove themselves and their loyalty over and over again. This can be exhausting and prevent a relationship from growing, yes, and establishing a solid foundation. So now, how can you control it? How can you control your being jealous? How to control jealousy? Or how to overcome jealousy? This is the last part. How to overcome jealousy or how to control it? Jealous behavior can be tough to control. The underlying issues rarely go away on their own. If jealousy is a pattern of behavior that is repeated in a relationship after relationship, it may take the intervention of a professional therapist to help rein it in and provide tools to cope with the causes that are driving in. You know, most of those People who are in tremendous in abusing their relationship because of the poisonous of jealousy. If they they will go to their near uh, psychologist to ask for uh, counsel to cons to, to uh, you know counselor, ask them for counsel. Uh, yes. You want to counsel, to counsel them, but you know, I recommend that you, our best counselor is God, our Lord Jesus Christ, His Word. The best counselor is our Lord Jesus Christ and His Word, by trusting Him, by prayer, and yes, we need a counselor. But we know who is that person to be to counsel us, to counsel you. Is that a fearing God? Is that a man? Is, we know how to counsel with the word of God. Or those people like just counseling from the outside. That's a temporary. Okay? We need to, we, if you cannot handle this relationship, 
you can ask God for prayer and you have to pray together if, you can, if it doesn't work you can ask someone in the church elders to ask for seek for counsel to pray for you and to, to uh, encourage to one another to encourage your relationship but before you go to ask to someone else for a counselor you must be one accord what be agree agree to one another that you are willing to be corrected you are willing to be accept to one another acceptance and willing to understand and we will be to get together again to fix to agreement the agreement that you have to fix the problem with yourselves together between your partner or your elders or the one who are uh, good or fearing from fear who the person who is fearing God the elders elders means that they know how to counsel people through the word of God amen you have to uh, agree to one another that you have to fix it that problem all right if there is no agreement to fix it no need to go or no need to seek someone to counsel you let it for you and God okay you have to trust God everything okay jealous behavior can be tough to control the underlying issues rarely to go on their own getting past jealousy in a relationship requires building trust one partner must trust the other enough to know that okay regardless of the circumstances the love and respect they share will prevent outside influences from threatening their relationship this can be difficult if one partner is insecure and struggles with trusting overall Ah, hallelujah Lord bless those relationship of God that has a jealousy problem we'll pray and we encourage them because when we go deeper you know or worse when their jealousy is become worse you know it's very dangerous dangerous if you have found a jealousy is a problem in your relationship whether it is you that are the jealous or your partner it can be painful for both of you getting beyond it will take patience communication and changing of beliefs Okay. If it's working together on overcoming jealous feelings and behaviors, we need God in our relationship. Before we go to the our relationship, we have to pray God and trust God everything on God's hands. Otherwise, God will instruct us. God said, I will instruct you and I will guide you. In Psalm said, Lord, he said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and he will give you the desires of your heart. God will give you will give you the desires of your heart. When we ask him for guidance everything, do not follow the emotions, the emotion your emotions. 
do not follow your feelings do not follow what is what you see in the outside follow the commander in chief Jesus Christ be humble if you can hold on yourself being single and not in sin you have to stand being a single but if you cannot hold a being a single it's better to pray to God and God will give you the desire of your heart a partner that fits for you again if there is a complicated in relationship it's better to be open okay you have to open up your heart you can you can open it sit down and talk to one another you have to speak out what is the conflict in your heart all right so how to over this one we have to that is how we control and how to overcome in this poisonous uh, jealousy in our relationships and I won't like to conclude this message to you conclusion if you really love your partner if you really respect your partner if you really care your relationship and your partner do not show a pattern or do not show or do not uh, create a pattern to cause you your partner to have a jealous for someone else okay do not show a pattern but do not create things to get your partner jealous try to make it everything transparent everything transparent for example wow your partner is away and he or she call you you need to answer and you need to talk although you were in the meeting or you were in your friends you have to answer her call you need to answer his call on time it's not that I I know I don't want to if someone if your partner calling you and that oh honey baby or mommy or mama please call me back later because I have someone talking to in here with me it hurts you know you lost the respect of your partner you didn't respect your partner in that way and you create or you show her or you show him that things that it costs to have a jealous with you and security arises then what you think to about you wow it's rather it's more important those people around him or around her than me because I this is I'm away from him I am away from her just now that the evil thoughts is coming in is very easy as very quick the evil things will very quickly passing through to the minds of the one who's victim okay remember this don't ever ever do that to your partner okay though you are in a meeting though you are have someone around you 
if your partner calling you, if you have the opportunity, answer him or answer her. And which is is important matter you have to go for privately, and you have the privacy to talk to your partner. Okay, please give an effort and sacrifice to one another. All right. Do not show it. I doubt things that makes your partner jealous okay be careful in everything if you want your relationship a healthy relationship if you want your relationship to enjoy a happy life with your family you have to take care of your relationship and we have to work it out together. We have to work it out together. Alright? Wherever you go, always be your partner is the best for your life. Okay? Amen? Praise God. Thank you so much. I hope this can be help to one another and continue to trust God. Before I close this, I, I want to leave this message last before you go to our relationship. You have to pray and trust God everything. That it makes sure that this relationship that you pray to God, that to trust to God, God will give you the wisdom, the wisdom and the spiritual understanding to handle it together, to work it together. Okay? Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much for all the subscribers. God is good all the time. And thank you so much for those people who want to subscribe this channel. Be patient with me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.